Hollywood seems to have the same mentality as an alcoholic. Because we have another Last of Us 2 Abby Zilla on our hands. Because who are you, Tila? Tila who? Tila man. But you can also call me Tila Zilla. So the man at arms is gone. And Tila will become the it's ma'am at arms. At least Bill Cosby won't be buying Tila a drink by mistake anytime soon. How lame is this? I mean, Adam looks like a chick with his little girly eyelashes. Let me guess. He man is going to be a washed up old warrior hiding away from people and drinking blue milk directly from a bow cat's titty. But I'm not going to lie. This one stings. I had a shitload of He-Man Masters of the Universe toys growing up. But I knew the moment Kevin, please hire me Disney, got involved, it was over. Something tells me Silent Bob should have stayed silent. Because he is a used up clown at this point. I feel like Hollywood only keeps him around as a charity case. The only thing he'll be remembered for is clerks and also ruining your childhood. Keep Kevin Smith far away from established superheroes and sci-fi. That should be a mandate across Hollywood. Keep Kevin, I sold my soul for alimony money Smith away from sci-fi. But that's only if they want to make money and based on the last few years, I don't think they do. I mean, their priorities are China, 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 and China. But at least Kevin's wife's boyfriend will love the show. Last thing on Kevin Smith, Kevin does two things very well. Crying and lying. His whole novelty was subverting tropes and adding toilet humor, kind of like Seth Rogen. But when that inevitably wore off because it's common, and anyone can do it. He got exposed as nothing special. So his movies flop like He-Man's testosterone in this new show. See, Kevin is heralded as some kind of geek by the Hollywood media. But I'm sorry, this fella has shown himself to be a fraud more than a few times already. But according to the Access Media stoners, he still speaks for real fans. Give me a fucking break. Anyway, if you hear that Netflix is reviving an old IP, simply bet that it will suck balls. And you'll be right far more often than not. The Netflix adaptation meme still holds true. Now, remember when He-Man was a massive muscle man who had biceps the size of refrigerators? Well, Pepperidge Farm remembers, well, no more. Because I guess following a soy-based diet as per the instructions of Kevin Smith will do this to you as a man. But hold on a minute, I don't necessarily hate the idea of Adam being smaller and skinnier when he's not He-Man. Because that makes his transformation even more impactful when it happens. But the problem here is, to have Adam be skinny and to give Tila the natural physique of Hercules is just insulting. To not only the story, but to Adam because basically Adam cheats with his magical powers and Tila is the real true warrior I mean when the main character whose name makes up 20% of the title is removed That's how you know this isn't about He-Man the red flag was risen when the name shows masters of the universe and not He-Man and the masters of the universe It was a subtle way of confirming my prediction He will probably get a character arc that will last maybe two episodes at the most with absolutely minimal screen time. Now everything has been bait and switch in the last few years. With these woke, moronic shows and video games. Using us to fund the fandom and then play Kate to the cult mob. Nah, that the internet never forgives and the internet never forgets. I sincerely hope the fans pull their own bait and switch and review bomb this garbage into eternity because I don't need to watch the first bait and switch trailer to know that this will be a Masters of the Woke Twitter Tumblr edition because these morons actually put it in the synopsis. He-Man will be sidelined. Tila is the protagonist. The sword is broken in two so that means Tila will use one half and become the new He-Man 2 Point oh. I'm actually going to tell you the premise of Netflix's Masters of the Universe. This is top secret. I could very well get sued, but I'm going to tell you anyway. It will be about how He-Man's toxic masculinity brought the great catastrophe to Eternia. And it's up to Tila and the rest of her group of bodybuilders to save everyone. How stunning and brave. Just know that I'm siding with Skeletor. Look, imagine Skeletor saying, bow to me, He-Man. He-Man?
He man, am I in the right show here, folks? Where is he? But anyway, look, the second trailer really made it look obvious that Tila is going to be the main character. Since she's getting more screen time and more dialogue in it than even He man does. And by the way, I counted like 20 law breaking rules in the first trailer, but not only that, the second trailer is basically giving away key moments in the show. And this usually indicates, based on other shows that I've watched, that the product is just not good enough. All they had to do was finish the battle first and then transition to the new story. We've all waited too long for a proper conclusion. Now, if they wanted to do something empowering for Tila, why couldn't they focus on the fact that she is the daughter of the sorceress and is destined to take her place in the future? And based on the trailers, it looks like they're having her reject the powers of the sorceress so she can make her own way. So they're just stripping away another character arc by making her dethrone here man with a golf club to the dome and Hollywood truly wonders why they lose money by putting lazy agenda writing over good storytelling and speaking of Hollywood in typical woke Hollywood fashion the only way you can make a strong female is to reject femininity completely because strong women must look like men in our stories and toxic masculinity unless a strong powerful woman is doing it and then that's perfectly fine I mean her designs says it all as masculine as humanely possible with a Karen haircut to top it all off. The minute Tila threw away her tiara and dawned on the Karen buzz cut, I knew what kind of preachy bollocks we were in for. I mean, Tila's old design and new design almost look like two completely different characters. I will say though, they forgot to animate the new Tila's Adam's apple and a five o'clock shadow to complete the look. However, saying all of that, the animation is probably the best I've seen in a long time. I really do hope the animators are being well paid for this garbage. But this is 100% a skip for me and on that bombshell thank you all for watching Manix out.